Hi, my name's Gav. If you're new here, let me tell you that I'm someone that loves life. I like spending quality time with friends and family. I'm also someone that loves traveling. I love visiting new places and trying new things. I have two hobbies. I love singing and I love skating. I've been skating ever since I was a little boy. And fun fact, I actually do it now professionally. Yes, I'm a professional figure skater. This is what this channel's all about. Tag along as I bring you on board a cruise ship in my crazy life as a professional figure skater. Good morning guys, today is June 13th, I believe if I'm not mistaken, and we are in Germany. I have no clue what city we're in, but I know that the city's 30 minutes away, and I think it's called Rostock, Germany. Uh, I do believe some people are going to Berlin, but that's a three-hour train ride just to get there, and then a, a, another three-hour train ride to come back. So uh, I've decided that I, I won't be going to Berlin uh, <laughs> because it's just too far. We'll be back, so maybe one time when we come here, I'll go to Berlin. Uh, but I decided to pass today, and anyways, it is raining outside. So my first initial plan was to take my bike to that uh, downtown area, the old town area of uh, Rostock. But now that it's raining, I have to find a plan B. So I went to financial, I got a couple euros. I hope they take euros here, I hope that's the currency. Uh, but I also have American money and my credit card, so I think I should be fine. But I think I'm just going to wing it. I'm going to go outside, maybe find either a bus, a taxi, an Uber. They don't have Uber, actually. I checked that. Uh, but something to get me to that city center. All aboard is 8 o'clock tonight, so I have a lot of time. Currently, it's 9 a.m., so I had my double shot espresso, um, exchanged my money, took a shower, and now I'm here. So let's just go out and hope for the best. Wish me luck! I'm a little mad that, that I didn't take my bike because it's not raining anymore. But I know it's going to start raining again this afternoon. So that's sort of the reason why I did not take my bike. I asked the guy if there was, what's the quickest way to go to Rock, Ross, Rostock. I keep pronouncing it wrong. And he said there's a train station right across the street, which I'm here now. So I think I'm going to try to take the train, even though it's a different language and I don't even know this place. <laughs> so wish me luck. Thank God that it's 8 o'clock all aboard. So then I have a lot of time to come back and get lost, you know. <laughs> Let me update you on what happened exactly. So, <laughs> so I didn't really film that much because I was struggling to find my way. But now I'm currently in the city center of uh, Rostock. So I made it, uh, but it wasn't easy. So we actually took this train right here. I bought a ticket for a day pass for a train. And that was a couple stops, like 20 minutes away. But I met these people from the cruise ship, so these crew members, they helped me out. They helped me buy the ticket and everything, and uh, they helped me on the train. And then once we took the train, we had to take to a tram, so this right here. I feel like train and, train and tram are the same thing, but anyways, we had to take this tram to the city center. But then that's when it was confusing because we were at this big train station and we had to go through these hallways and go down a level and the crew members were there so I'm a little nervous for when I go I go back to the ship but we'll find out it's the opposite so it's not that it's not hard it's one train one tram but I just have to do it the other way around so I think I'm gonna set a pin on my Google Maps and hope for the best when I come back I'll give myself like two hours just in case <laughs> Guy. Invited to any parties, I just sit out from the in crowd and stay within my boundaries. That hang on my so I thought this was going to be a small town, but it seems to be a little busier than 
what I expected. There's a lot of people, but I think I'm on the main street right now with all the stores. They do have a TJ Maxx right in the back. Uh, oh, but there's a lot of cute churches. So I think I'm gonna walk around, find a cute breakfast place, half breakfast, maybe coffee and a little pastry, and then start exploring. Hey, You guys will not be proud of me, but I am going to McDonald's for breakfast. I just need a quick breakfast to start exploring, and then I'm probably gonna have lunch with Pasha and Alex. So that's why I'm like saving the good quality food for later. But I just need a quick little something to fill me up and a coffee. Okay, so I really wanted uh, like a breakfast burrito, but they don't make breakfast, but at least they had uh, muffins, so that's gonna fill me up, and they have coffee, so that as well is gonna fill me up. So I'm gonna have that, and then uh, exactly start exploring because this place is so cute. So I'm gonna give you. Oh my god, can... Ah, there's a bee! Oh my god, get away from me, you little bee! <laughs> People must think I'm crazy. Okay, I'm giving you... Hopefully it's not in my hair. A little history. <laughs> Organize yourself, Gab. A little history on this town. So this is Ross... Okay, Rostock, which is the largest city in the German state of Mecklenburg, Western Pomerania and lies in the Mecklenburgian part of the state, close to the border with Pomerania. So I guess they have like states here, just like in the states, but in Germany, I feel like the size of Germany is the size of a state in the United States. Anyways, um, it is the third largest city on the German Baltic coast after Kiel and Lübeck. And it's the eighth largest city in the area, uh, former known as East Germany, as well as the 39th largest city here in Germany. Rostock was the largest coastal and most important port city in East Germany. And now I'm just sitting next to this tower. I'm trying to look up what this tower is, but I have no clue. So I'll look it up and I'll let you guys know. Okay, so this tower right here is called the Kroplin Tor, or tower. Uh, it was built in the Gothic style around 1270, I believe, as the western most of the four large gates around uh, Rostock city. So they used to have, I can see the wall from here, but they used to have a wall surrounding the city, and this was one of the gates. Um, and they say at the time it was also like very large. I think there has been some pieces that have been added on throughout the years but in like 1270 they said um, that it was had two floors and it was one of the mightiest gates out of all 22 city gates at the time so they don't know whether it was named after uh, the small town of Croplin towards which it leads or after the patriarchal family of the same name it's still disputed to this day and it represents the western end of Croplin State. That's pretty much what this tower, so it was a gate or an entrance to the city. And now there's a coffee shop in there. Or I don't know if you can walk up the tower. I don't know. <laughs> I searched historical landmarks on Google Maps and they brought me to this place which is called Enghamelage Wagon, World War II. So my assumption is that these are just old wagons that they used during World War II because I am looking online and there's nothing about this place, literally nothing. But that's what I assume. If it says World War II train wagons, 
I think this is, these, these are old wagons. Maybe I'll, I'll search the name. Dutch Reichsbahn. I'll search the name and let you guys know what it means. So the name is Dutch Reichsbahn, which is the railway company, also known as uh, the German National Railway, the German State Railway, <laughs> German Reichswelt Railway. Okay, um, it was created after the end of World War I uh, from the regional uh, railways of the inv individual states of the German Empire. Okay, okay, we're getting something. So there's nothing about these wagons. <laughs> I looked online guys. I tried for you, but there's literally nothing online. I think all it says is that these are old wagons from World War II, which I understand because we are in Germany and Germany and, and World War II have a big history. <laughs> so now I think I'm just gonna head. I see a church over there. I'm gonna head to that church. See if I can go inside. We are... It's so loud here. So. I don't understand why they put the busiest road right there next to such a peaceful environment. Like this could be really cute if they had a bunch of restaurants here. Well, they do have a couple restaurants, but like they could have way more stuff here on the side of the water, but they don't. Instead, they have scaffolding. So that's it. I'm going to go walk to that church and I'll see you guys in a little bit. So this church behind me is called the St. Peter's Church. Uh, in German, it's called uh, Petrikirch. It was built in the 13th century, and it is the oldest of uh, three town churches founded in the Hasenic city of Rostock. So I do believe there's another one down the street, but this is a very, uh, it takes up a lot of space. Like it, you can see it from miles away. Um, so they say the other two are, oh my God, St. Mary's Church and St. Nicholas and the fourth St. Jacoby was heavily damaged during World War II. So I'm surprised that this wasn't damaged during World War II. So I, I believe you can go inside. So maybe I'm gonna try and take a look. to be quiet but so I just paid five euros and I can walk all the way up the tower so I think I'm gonna do that but the steps are really steep so I don't know if I can hold the camera and walk it up at the same time okay guys wish me luck it's terrifying okay we're walking up Walking up. Oh man. I can't believe I'm doing this. It. <laughs> Feels like it's lasting forever. smoking it says oh wow there's like some scaffolding more stairs here so we're just gonna walk up these stairs I probably have a beautiful view oh I think we're in the tower now yeah this is it we made it oh wow Guys, I have to show you the view. <laughs> that was beautiful. 
five euros may be a little expensive for this, but you know what? I appreciated this experience. It was fun. Now I'm gonna go visit another church. It's still quite impressive. I don't know if they do have an elevator. So I don't know if you have to take the elevator down or you take the steps, the stairs back down. I have no clue. These are really steep. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna put the camera down to concentrate on walking down and not uh, breaking, breaking a leg or an ankle. And I'll see you guys once I'm down. So this right here in the back, again, is an old stone tower uh, that used to be part of the brick. I don't know if you can see the wall there, but there was a wall surrounding the city. So that's an old stone tower to get into the city again. And I believe, I don't know where we are. It kind of looks like the place, the place that they left us off this morning. No, I'm wrong. I don't know. I have no clue where I am. The weather is getting worse and worse, but that's what it said on um, the weather channel or the weather website. Oh, this is beautiful. This morning that it was just gonna get worse throughout the day, so. Uh, I believe Alex just texted me and it's raining, so I think I'm gonna go eat, <laughs> guys, because the weather's terrible and we'll be back here, so. Oh man, this weather is terrible. Hi. I'm okay. <laughs> I actually met up with Pasha and Alex. That's what I told them. I was like, I don't know. Maybe they already ate. Maybe who knows? And I, so I actually met up with them after uh, walking in the rain because the weather is terrible. We're having wine, pizza, and this Italian restaurant. came in to, to lunch, it was raining and the weather was terrible. Now, it's a summer day. Mm, not, I'm not a fan of this weather at all. <laughs> nope. Okay, so we found this church. We're gonna go see if we can go inside. Just needed to see ya, see ya, see ya, see ya, see ya. Okay, so we're back in Vardamunde, Vardamunde, and this is where our ship is docked. It's really cute, bunch of little ship, like little boats with restaurants in them, shops. It's like a little coastal town. I do believe there's a beach at the end here, and I'm gonna go check out if we can go up that lighthouse because I did see there was a lighthouse, and I would love to go up. We've officially found my lighthouse that I wanted to go up. Here we go, guys. We're going up the lighthouse. Okay, this is the second time I filmed myself going up the steps oh in the church. Those are a little scary. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Oh my god, I think we're halfway there. 
Uh, we're at 67 steps. <laughs> we're, this is halfway point. So there's like a viewpoint halfway, and I think there's another viewpoint. Look. This here, and then here. So we're halfway. 87, 88, 89, 90. Very, yeah, it's not very warm, but oh, it's nice to feel the ocean and the sand. I took my shoes off. Wow, feels amazing. Know that I miss you, but I'm conflicted. The way that I feel about you, no, I should not feed it. And if you were the answer to all these questions. I think I'll be a man first. <laughs> Admit that I made I'm a mess. So cute, yeah, I made a mess here. 